My research focuses around uh, individual differences in intelligence and individual differences in personality, particularly the trait of neuroticism. I'm interested in how environmental and genetic contributions create these individual differences in what we see in people's thinking skills and the way they act. So intelligence and personality, particularly the facet of neuroticism, are important to understand because of their ability to predict health and mental illness. In the case of intelligence, what we do know is that higher levels of intelligence or cognitive ability predict lower levels of health disorders and lower levels of mental disorders. With the case of neuroticism, it's exceptionally predictive of uh, major depressive disorder and other mood disorders as well. So my recent research has focused on understanding how much of, the, of intelligence and neuroticism are due to the environment and how much are due to genetic factors. And in order to answer this question, I've used a data set from uh, Generation Scotland. And the Generation Scotland data set is particularly useful to answer these questions because it contains many families who are related to each other because of the genetic reasons. And we also have information on who lives with whom and for how long, as well as who they've married. So in my research, what I found was for intelligence, about 20% of the differences were due to genetic factors that were found across the population. We also found an additional 30% of the variation can be attributable to genetic effects that cluster within families. We also found evidence of a couple effect, that is to say individuals who live within the same household typically have more similar levels of cognitive ability or intelligence than you would expect by chance. For neuroticism, what we found was that common genetic effects, those that spread across the population, accounted for about 10% of the differences whereas those family-specific variants accounted for about 20%. For future research, what we want to do is look at which environments and what genes try and determine if people with a particular, particular genetic background um, are more susceptible to certain risk factors or environmental influences than those without the risk variants.